Have you been working your butt off at the gym but not seeing any major results? Chances are you're not making the most out of your gym time. Hi viewers and welcome back to Bestie! We all know how tiring working out can be. From sore muscles to the sweaty aftermath, the struggle is real. But while everyone claims that without pain there is no gain, there may actually be some tricks. In today's video, we'll tell you about the best gym hacks. From freezing your water, skipping the locker room, foam rolling, using multiple blender bottles, to playing your favorite songs and more. Watch till the end to learn about all of them. Number 1. Limit your workouts to 30 to 40 minutes Though the tendency is to spend a lot of time at the gym, the truth is that after 30 or 40 minutes, the benefits aren't as great. To go that long, you'd have to lower the intensity. It's better to work out at a higher intensity for a shorter amount of time. Number 2. Freeze your knee sleeves and wrist wraps if your knee sleeves or wrist wraps smell like the locker room after a high school football game, then this hack might be right up your alley. Truth be told, you could always throw them in the washing machine or soak them in a dilute vinegar solution to combat the aromatic problem. However, that creates a little extra wear and tear which could be easily avoided. Put the wrap in the freezer and remove it after two hours. You'll be surprised that they won't smell a bit. It may not be a permanent solution since you'll continue to sweat, but it provides a quick, easy fix. You can use the same hack for your gym gloves as well. Number 3. Freeze Your Water The water bottle is a gym bag essential, but don't you hate it when you grab the water bottle and it feels more like a sip of tea? It's so warm! If you hate drinking warm water while working out and you don't feel like investing in a thermo bottle, we have the perfect idea. Fill your bottle halfway and freeze it on its side overnight. Then, right before you head to the gym, just grab it and fill it up the rest of the way with water. You'll have cold water all the way through your workout. Number 4. Skip the Locker Room Routine a lot of us spend quite a bit of time in the locker area at the gym. Think about it. You go to use the restroom, change into your workout clothes, and then finally head out to exercise. Then, when you're done, you're right back in the locker area, showering, washing, and blow drying your hair, moisturizing your body, and getting dressed. Cutting down on the time spent in the locker room can give you a little extra time to work out, or it can allow you to get your workout done sooner so that you're able to move on with the rest of your day. Make sure your gym bag is well organized and has all the items you need. If possible, change into your workout clothes and take a bathroom break before you get to the gym, even if it means doing it right before you leave the office. If you're really crunched for time, save your post-workout shower for home so you can simply do a quick wipe down and go. Number 5. Start with something you like after you're warmed up, start your gym routine with the part that gets you the most jazzed up. Love doing crunches? Hit the mat before you hit the machines. Love to dance? Take a group class before you follow up with yoga or weights. It'll motivate you for the tasks ahead. Number 6. Play your favorite songs we all love listening to music, but did you know that it can actually improve the quality of your workout? Studies show that music enhances your performance during exercise, particularly with repetitive activities such as running, and it can give the illusion that you're having an easier time, allowing you to up your effort levels. Number 7. Use medical tape to keep clothes from flying up Exercising is some serious business, and sometimes all-rounded body workouts like burpees and mountain climbers might involve you getting down and dirty, literally. But all that floor work might have your active wear flying all over the place. Unless you've got a nice set of abs already, chances are most of us would prefer a less revealing workout experience. A nifty trick is to use some medical tape to keep your clothes secure. It's sweat resistant, so you don't need to worry that it'll fall off during a workout. Plus, it's cheap and available at most pharmacies. Number 8. Exercise between 2.30 and 8.30 p.m. If you follow a normal sleep cycle, the best time to train will be in the late afternoon or early evening. Studies have shown that this is the optimal time based on the body's circadian rhythm and core temperature. That said, you can get an even more personalized recommendation by finding out when your resting heart rate is at its peak. Find that out and hit the gym at that time. Number 9. Make your own fat grips. If you've ever trained at a semi-hardcore facility or you're involved in the world of strength and conditioning, then we're sure you're well accustomed to grip-specific implements. Why waste your money when you could just make your own? The easiest way to increase grip for any exercise is to increase the radius of the object you're trying to hold on to. Enter the pool noodle. It's not new, flashy, or expensive by any means, but it gets the job done. Some noodles are denser than others, so experiment with a few different brands and see which one works best. In all honesty, your kids probably aren't going to use them much, so you might as well put them to good use. Number 10. Foam Roll Often Foam rolling is a great form of myofascial release, but there's a lot of confusion and conflicting arguments in the fitness industry about whether it's most beneficial to foam roll before or after a workout. That's why the best thing to do is to foam roll before and after a workout to improve mobility. 
be warned that foam rolling can be painful in a hurts so good type of way. Just 10 minutes of saying damn it and ouch will add efficiency to your movements. Number 11, prepare your post-workout smoothie in advance. When you have little time, it can be tempting to skip some key elements of your gym routine, but recovery is a vital part of fitness. Make your post-workout snack, such as a smoothie with berries, oats, yogurt, milk, nuts, and seeds, the night before. Just whip it out of the fridge before you head to the gym and refuel. Number 12. Put tea bags in your gym bag Carrying your smelly shoes in your bag after a workout can wreak havoc on everything inside. While washing your gym bag is a viable solution, doing so can be a hassle. The best way to tackle this problem is with deodorizing shoe balls for your sneakers. Or if you want a DIY option, place tea bags in your shoes. Tea bags will absorb the moisture and smell nice. You can also toss a dryer sheet in the bottom of your gym bag before you pile your things in. The dryer sheet will not only make your bag smell good, but will also absorb the foul odor. Just be sure to change the sheet every other day to keep it fresh. While tea bags can help you get rid of smelly shoes, they have many other benefits by drinking it regularly. Learn more by watching 14 Reasons You Should Drink Black Tea Every Day. Now back to amazing gym hacks that you need to know. Number 13. Use Multiple Blender Bottles Having multiple bottles prepped for the day can save you time and energy. Use one for your pre-workout concoction, another for intra-workout carbs and protein, and perhaps a third for your post-workout shake. Now, some people may not use pre-, intra-, or post-workout supplementation, which is fine. However, the vast majority of Americans are married to the idea that supplementation is the missing piece of the puzzle when it comes to making gains, and as such, utilizing multiple blender bottles is quite convenient during a busy day. Number 14. Find hack codes for cardiac machines online Most gyms have their cardio machines preset to stay on for just 30 to 60 minutes to ensure they free up for others during peak hours. But if you're training for an endurance race or simply need to get a long run in, having a machine turn off can be devastating. Know that you can find the codes to override the time limit for each machine by doing a little research on Google. If you extend the time, just make sure there aren't people waiting. Number 15. Use deodorant spray instead of a stick Thank God for deodorant. Applied before a workout, deodorant helps to mask sweat and body odor before it's even produced. But when you're working up quite the sweat, the last thing you want is an additional sticky feeling from your deodorant. Instead of deodorant sticks, opt for sprays instead. Not only will you feel significantly drier, but you also won't have to face the embarrassment of having white streaks all over your gym clothes. For an extra refreshing post-workout feel, pick up a cooling or antiperspirant deodorant spray from sports-centric brands. While these gym hacks can surely make your life easier, they are useless if you don't actually do what you're supposed to do in the gym, exercise. And there are certain exercises that can work wonders for you in a short duration of time. Learn more by watching Get rid of love handles quickly with these 7 exercises, or 11 CrossFit exercises that will transform your body in 30 days. So go ahead and watch one or both of these videos if you want a strong body. How often do you go to the gym? Let us know in the comment section below.